Hey guys, my name is Juan. Welcome to Bikish Islander. Today I want to talk to you about Because It Is Bitter and Because It Is My Heart by Joyce Carol Oates. And before I start talking about the book, I just want to say that I am one of those people who is hugely intimidating by the sheer amount of books um, published, written and published by Joyce Carol Oates. And I also want to say that I'm not a huge fan of her work, not because I haven't, not because I don't like it, just because I haven't read enough to, to consider myself a fan, but she's definitely a writer that I'm interested in. I'm intrigued by her and I try to ignore what she posts on Twitter and just focus on her books, which sometimes can be hard and makes me wish uh, Twitter didn't even exist. But here, here, here we go. But here, here you are. Anyway, um, so because it is bitter and because it is my heart, it's a novel published in 1990 and said during the 1950s and 60s, during the uh, period known as the Civil Rights uh, Movement period of American history. Uh, this is the background against you have to judge this book. You have to consider that it was written in the early 90s or possibly in the late 80s for all we know. And it's best, uh, based in that, in that time. And that's important to keep in mind as you read this book. I think the book has two main characters, one black and one white and um, their lives uh, are joined at a very specific moment through violence. Not violence against each other, but I, I don't really want to talk about the plot or spoil it, but they're involved in this episode of violence. You have a, a white girl and a black boy. They're both really poor. They both come from very problematic backgrounds. Um, and this is all uh, taking place in a small town in ups upstate New York. Okay. After their lives are joined momentarily uh, by this violent episode, we follow how they progress as characters for years after uh, and how their lives run parallel to each other but are never joined again because they can't because we're dealing with the 1950s and the 1960s in the United States of America and everything that was going on there. Um, we see how race, more than social class, determines their outcome. And as such, the novel, I guess, can feel a little bit preachy. Um, but I think for the most part, it works. I think Joyce Carol Oates is a competent writer. It's a highly competent writer, and I don't think she needs me to say that. But anyway, that, that's what I think. Um, so I want to read more of her stuff. Um, and if you have any suggestions after you watch my review for stuff by her that you think I might like, please let me know because I'm really keen to continue with her work. I've read very little. Anyway, going back to because it is bitter and because it is my heart, um, one of the things that I thought was problematic here was how she, not, not exactly how she portrayed the African American characters, but how she mimicked the way in which she, I mean, by she I mean J Joyce Carol Oates, thinks they speak or spoke at that historical time. And so every time they, the African American characters talk, I had this question in my head about how an African American reader would react to that and if it would ring true to them. And of course, you know, I don't know, to me, it's what I've come to expect from Hollywood movies and television, and I don't think that's a good parameter. Um, I think I would expect more. So I would be really curious um, to, to know what African-American readers make of that part of the book, those parts of the book, when she has um, African-American characters interacted and particularly talking. I want to know if their language rings true or if it veers the offensive. Having said all that, I'm well aware that this book came out in the early 90s. Um, and it's based on a very specific and difficult uh, moment in American history, but it's a moment that I've seen portrayed in literature and movies and even television probably a lot. Um, but it's completely alien to me because I'm not American and I'm definitely not African-American, so I don't really know about it. Um, but yeah, the book was gripping. I enjoyed it. It wasn't morbid. It wasn't as violent as I feared it might be. I mean, that's one of the reasons I struggled 
with Joyce Carol Oates because I always have this idea in my mind that she only writes about very morbid things and she's very graphic in her writing and that's not something that I enjoy reading particularly. Um, so again, if you know of any more of her books that are not that violent or that don't, don't um, you know, don't approach uh, um, greedy, grisly subject matters with morbidity, then I'm, I'm more than willing to try those books. But anyway, th those are my thoughts on this book. Have you read it? Are you a fan of J Joyce Carol Oates? Where do you think I should go from here? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.